Young people aged 16 and over are usually allowed to consent to their own medical treatment. This is because they will usually have enough understanding to be able to make an informed choice in the same way that adults can. Young people under the age of 16 can also consent to their own treatment, but only if they believe to have enough understanding to fully appreciate what's involved. Usually, a parent or carer will consent on behalf of the young person, but if a young person wishes to receive treatment without consent, they can do so as long as they've been assessed as being Gillick competent. Gillick competence helps those who work with young people to find a balance between listening to young people's wishes, which are sometimes different to the wishes of their parents or carers, and recognising that they might not yet have enough understanding to make an informed choice. If you're under 16 and your parent or carer agrees with your decision about whether or not you should have treatment, they can consent or not for you and you won't need to be assessed for Gillick competence. If you wish to receive treatment without the consent of your parent or carer or perhaps without their knowledge, it's really important that everyone involved is certain that you know what you're consenting to. Your competence to make medical decisions must be assessed by a trained professional. You can't assess your own competence nor can an older friend or your teacher. The professional who assesses your competence will need to consider the following. Your age, maturity and mental capacity. How well you understand the issue and what it involves, including the advantages and disadvantages and potential long-term impact. How well you understand the risks, implications and consequences that might arise from your decision. How well you understand any advice or information you've been given about it your understanding of any alternative options and your ability to make and communicate a reasoned decision about what your wishes are. Gillick competency applies mainly to medical advice and treatment, but it is sometimes also used in other settings. If you would like to have therapeutic support but don't want your parents or carers to know about it. If you are seeking confidential support for substance misuse. If you have strong wishes about your future living arrangements which might conflict with your parents or carers views. In a medical setting, it can be used if a young person under the age of 16 wishes to receive treatment without their parent or carer's consent, or in some cases without their knowledge. If you'd like to receive a vaccination, which might be against your parent's or carer's wishes, or if you need sexual health treatment but don't want your parent or carer to know. What if my decision goes against my parent's or carer's, or I just don't want to tell them? It's really important that you have a conversation with your parent or carer wherever possible about any health concerns you have. If at first you're not in agreement about what's right for you, it can help to talk things through so that you can understand their concerns and they can understand yours. If you seek medical treatment without your parent or carer's consent, the medical professional you speak to may try to encourage you to have another conversation with them. But if you don't feel comfortable doing that, or if they still don't agree, your treatment can still go ahead as long as you're assessed as being Gillick competent. Your parent or carer won't find out about any treatment you've had without their consent, unless there are serious concerns about your welfare. How do I get a Gillick Competency Assessment? Firstly, speak to your parent or carer if possible. You might be able to reach an agreement with them about whether you should receive the medical treatment. If you can, speak to the health professional involved in your care. If you don't know who this is, or you want to find out more, get in touch with the Healthy Futures Calderdale School Nursing Team. They will be able to talk you through your options and work with the right health professionals to arrange a Gillick competence assessment for you. You can get in touch by calling or texting the numbers on the screen or by finding us on our social media at Healthy Futures Calderdale.